Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day one of Garb August. Um, so trashy book recommendations. Alright guys, so Garb August is starting today, which means a lot of people are going to be reading trashy books around the world. But maybe you need a little help finding some books. So here I've compiled a list of books per each week's theme that I think would be fun. So full disclaimer, I have not read these books. These are books that if I had been a Speedy Gonzales reader, I would have picked. They were strong contenders on my list, but I had to let go because time permitting and budget because I can't pay for 10,000 books in one city. <laughs> so, so today's video is going to be recommendations for weeks one and two and later in the month I'll do recommendations for weeks three and four. So week one is a theme is going to be, well is, category romance or men's adventure. So the first one that I would have picked if I had more time is The Oil Prince by Kate Goldman. So this one is so the synopsis for this book is, he's out for revenge and he'll take it all. <laughs> he's out for revenge and he'll take it at any cost. When beautiful Adeline Scott turns to her ex-lover Golan Rodriguez for help, he agrees on one condition. He'll give Adele the money she desperately needs, but only if she convinces his family they're still a couple. The sexy Spanish billionaire never wanted to see Adeline again after their disastrous breakup, but a chance to convince his ailing grandmother that his, his, he is settling down and changing his bachelor ways is too tempting to resist. Addie was devastated when their relationship ended. She has one week on a stunning island with the only man she's ever loved. Is it long enough to show him how wrong he was about her? They're playing with fire and it's burning out of control. <laughs> oh, it sounds kind of trashy and stinky and I'm in for it. I'm in for it. The second one that was on my list is Montana Destiny, an anthology. So, and it is by BJ Daniels. Now, I don't know if it was on purpose um, to have an author's name BJ for smut, but okay. <laughs> Responding to a 911 call, White Horse Deputy Haley Robinson is stunned to find himself back face to face with her teenage crush, Colton Shishom, I think. The schoolboy who had teached her is now a strong and sexy man, and he's on a mission to solve a case. But if he plans on unmasking a killer, he's going to need her help. Colton can no longer run from the truth. Someone on his small town has gotten away with murder. Now it's up to him to bring the killer to justice with the help of local authorities, which, to his surprise, include Haley. The girl who had once idolized him is now a woman he must fight to resist. But as they work out the case, the altercation between them only grows stronger. The rocky past may lead to a future together, unless the killer, part killer parts them forever oh gosh well that's it sounds like a steamy cozy romance or cozy mystery type of thing but mostly steamy all right book number three is the haunted monastery by robert van gulk which i actually have right here oops wrong book the haunted monastery Pretty cool, huh? Inscrutable 8th century Chinese detective, the Sherlock Holmes of the Ting Dynasty, occupies one sleepless, fevered night, uncovering vice, conspiracy, murder, and other suspicious goings-on in the Taoist monastery of the Morning Clouds in a desolate mountain region. This is really well done, sophisticated crime fiction. <laughs> 
a really well done sophisticated crime fiction. So yeah, I really wanted to read this one. The print is kind of too small. Um, I could maybe get away with it if I knew I'd be sitting still the whole time, but realistically, I'm probably going to be reading in public transportation, so. The small fonts bother you too? I, I don't know. Let me know. Number four and last one for this week's prompt is TNT by Doug Masters. After surviving atomic blast, an atomic blast, Anthony Nicholas Twin emerges a new man. Now as deadly a killer as he was a skilled lover with superhuman uh, with hu superhuman abilities that cannot be stopped. <laughs> oh boy. So for sec for week two, the theme is paperbacks from hell or vintage smut. So the first one I almost chose for this one is a vampire turning me into a sexy blood gathering succubus by Dwindle Gee. Dwindle G or Gee, I'm not sure. William is a young up and coming movie executive in 1990s Hollywood. One faithful night, he is a meeting with a dark and ghastly creature, a vampire, that will change his life forever. If you like your erotica mingled with a taste of gothic and macabre horror, then this is the depraved and lascivious story for you. <laughs> I'm such a bad reader, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, actually, I may pick this one for week four, Anything Goes, and five, because then I'd be able to cross out Shifter Romance from the bingo card. Number two is actually a French book, and that is How I Perverted My Fiancé and My Sister. <laughs> um, the author is anonymous. <laughs> so... There you go. The narrator of his confession has his girlfriend under his skin. As they say, she's got him. He turned her into a depraved girl and can't get enough of her. She accepts everything, absolutely everything. What he doesn't know is that she tells her little sister what they do together, who isn't so little anymore. However, our friend, <laughs> however, our friend has some uh, some old-fashioned ideas. You don't marry a depraved girl. So, inevitably, she meets someone else. Does that mean it's over? You've got to be kidding. This is just the beginning. They're going to connect... <laughs> They're going to continue the battle of the sexes. As the little sister won't be the least ardent of the three, to make a long story short, our heartthrob marries a third girl, a serious girl. This one guaranteed on in this one guaranteed on invoice having never been used. End of story. You've gotta be kidding. This is what it really this is this is where it really gets moving. A deeply immoral confession, my friends. And that is the Amazon FR description. <laughs> and sorry for my grumpy reading! Next up is The Spirit, which is A Paperbacks from Hell by Thomas Page. It has many names, Bigfoot, Yeti, Sasquatch, or whatever it is. It's out there in the woods and leaving a trail of blood and severed heads behind it. For John Moon, a half-mad Indian, it is a spirit that holds the key to this inner self. He worships his power and he'll kill to protect it. Desperate, exhausted, half-starved, Moon will follow it wherever it goes. For Raymond Jason, killing it has become an obsession. He was the only survivor of a hunting trip to the Rockies, where the hunters became the monster's prey. Now he is determined to track the creature down and destroy it. But when the schoolboy who had teached her is now a strong and sexy man, and he's on a mission to solve a case that may have no survivors. I don't think my reading the synopsis did it justice at all. At all. And finally, the fourth one that I almost got for this category is Sultry Pulp Tales, Volume 1, by Maitress P, or Mitress P or Mistress P, I guess would be. Obviously, I thought of Criminal because Pulpy is in the title and apparently 
that should remind me of him. So this is a collection of stories, uh, erotic stories, that are like a pulpy genre um, from the 60s. So that looked like a lot of fun. I definitely had a hard time picking. There were a lot more lists that, or a lot more books on my list actually, but I had to narrow it down and here we are. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like the video if you did, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!